Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a uh, presentation on NCES problem number 28. Uh, up to this point, first couple of weeks, and many of the uh, NCS problems we've identified in, uh, in uh, week three have been uh, just fine. I may have uh, added a comment uh, or two to the, uh, the main slide there, but uh, this particular problem, which is on beams, uh, needs a little bit more explanation. So uh, let's get started. Okay, the solution uh, is fine, except uh, there's a, an inconsistency between the, uh, the wording and the statement of the problem and the information that you see in the solution uh, as to what value of the shear force should be used. So uh, this is uh, uh, the, um, the issue that needs a little bit more explanation. Okay, the following uh, figure is provided with the problem statement. Uh, it's a, uh, a laminated beam, three, uh, three layers. Uh, there's a force F in the middle. Uh, it's a simply supported beam with a, a, a pin uh, support on the left and a roller on the right. Uh, and so it's a very familiar uh, problem, probably our, our most basic of uh, beam problems, concentrated load in the middle of a simply supported beam. So from uh, equilibrium uh, this and, and the um, shear force diagram, the shear force in the beam would be F over 2 on uh, either side of the force. The uh, equilibrium would give you F over 2 on the left, F over 2 on the right, and when you drew the shear force diagram, then, uh, then it would be uh, uh, F over 2 would be the shear force. So therefore, uh, uh, the problem statement says the, uh, the vertical shear is uh, 1,000. So therefore, you would assume, I would assume, that uh, F is 2,000. Okay, so you, you go from there, but uh, you look at the solution and uh, they have the beam uh, having uh, in the middle a thousand pounds, okay? And uh, so therefore you would uh, assume the shear force would be half of that or 500 pounds, uh, but in the solution they use a thousand pounds as the, as the shear force. Well, uh, a prior participant actually contacted the NCS about this, but was told the solution is correct. Um, but again, I believe um, the statement of the problem and the figure and the solution are inconsistent uh, and is uh, causing some uh, some confusion. And uh, I uh, expect that an errata or some kind of explanation is uh, forthcoming from the NCS at some point. But uh, right now, uh, this is what we have. So. Um, uh, you just, to me, uh, the um, the uh, 1,000 pounds for the uh, shear force uh, stated uh, means uh, that uh, that you really should use uh, 1,000 pounds. Uh, the F is 2,000 and the uh, uh, shear force is 1,000. But again, uh, we're going to have to wait for the uh, NCS to uh, make this clear. Okay. Well, that uh, concludes, uh, concludes my commentary here on this particular first problem uh, of uh, NCS problems in uh, week three here. Uh, I, we will be doing this um, uh, more so uh, as the other weeks uh, um, appear. So thank you uh, again, as always, thank you for allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.